everybody. Today we're going to do a loving kindness meditation or metta, M-E-T-T-A. And we will basically repeat the same four phrases. You can say them out loud if you're alone and you feel comfortable. Um, you can say them in your head, but I will guide you through those four, same four phrases over and over several times. And I invite you to practice this meditation whenever you need some like love directed to yourself, you're, you're having a bad day or some negative energy is being directed towards you. I invite you to do this meditation for others if you feel like they need a little bit of extra love and kindness. And really whenever you need to, you can just drop into these four phrases and direct your intention to whoever you feel like needs the love and kindness the most. Before we get started, I'm going to ask you to listen for the chime. This will be a brief mindful listening practice. When you hear this chime, take a deep breath in. And then when you don't hear the tone anymore, let the air out nice and slow and easy. So deep, slow breaths in and out. The tone is the indication to inhale. And then when you don't hear it, exhale. So let's Get our feet nice and flat on the ground, our spine nice and tall, maybe open up that heart center. And we'll do five slow deep breaths with the chime. Here we go. And exhaling when you don't hear it and four more without my voice. Last one. Beautiful. As you resume your normal breath, bring your attention inward to yourself. Self-care is very, very important. When we are happy and healthy, we are better able to be of service to the people that we love and into our community. So we were going to start our four phrases and you'll just repeat after me, your eyes can be open or closed. You can repeat them out loud or in your head. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I feel loved. Take a deep breath in and let's repeat that again slowly one more time. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I feel loved. Take a few breaths here and as you continue to breathe, this time I'd like you to Think about somebody that you care about, that's close with you, that is maybe having a hard time right now. Maybe this person is having trouble physically, emotionally, financially. There could be a gamut of reasons why they're struggling and suffering. And this person is dear to you. You, do, you want to ease their suffering. So with intention, almost a prayer, if you will, this next set of phrases will be directed toward them. Once they're in your brain, really keep them in the forefront of your thought, their image. And let's repeat these phrases. As we change the word from I to you, you're, every time you say the word you, you're focusing on your special person. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you feel loved. Take a deep breath and do that one more time. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you feel loved. 
and start to breathe again. And this time we're gonna change our focus. This will be the most challenging part of the practice probably. I want you to bring to mind, forefront of your mind, somebody that is difficult for you to get along with. So somebody that maybe irritates you or you just don't have that same vibe energy and they're a difficult person for you to get along with. Even though they are a difficult person for you, you do not wish them harm. You do not wish them to be suffering. So even though they're not maybe your friend or a family member, they're not somebody that important to you, you still want to practice empathy and compassion, especially in this time of year. And we're just gonna send them well wishes because we're gonna rise above, we're gonna be the bigger person and we're gonna try to practice our empathy and send them intentions of goodness and kindness. So this time when we say the word you, you're focusing on that difficult person, but you have to open your heart and really mean it for it to be effective. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you feel loved. One more time, really sending these intentions out to this person and maybe be less difficult. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you feel loved. And finally, we're going to change our mantra one more time and we're going to back into it by using the word we. So focusing on your world, all that is important. It could include plants and animals, people we like and we don't like, because the only way to have peace is to practice peace. So we really want the world to be in a place where everyone is happy and healthy. And so for this next and last time, going through it twice, we'll include ourselves back into the mantra, back into the meditation. May we all be happy. May we all be healthy. May we all be safe. May we all feel loved. And one more time. May we all be happy. May we all be healthy. May we all be safe. May we all feel loved. Maybe you just give yourself one minute to sit in silence, thinking about your intentions and your thoughts and how those thoughts really have energy. So when you practice this meditation, how you're actually making yourself and the world a better place to be for one minute, and then you'll hear that same chime to indicate our practice is over. And maybe you want to roll your wrists or maybe do a head roll, bring your shoulders back, opening up that heart space once again. I appreciate your time today and I hope you have a wonderful day and you choose to use this meditation whenever you feel like you need a little love for yourself or for somebody else. So I'm gonna show you how I close my yoga classes.
May I know my truth. May I see my truth. May I speak my truth. And may I feel my truth. And namaste.